going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Um, we're going to get right to it. It's a ministry show. And um, if you need something, if you are crying out to God for something, if you need agreement, because God sent it up with agreement, then please call those prayer lines. Don't go through it alone, okay? We are here to pray with you and have faith and believe and expect for you. And I'm telling you, people see just miracles. And mm -hmm. so we want to see that happen for you by calling 307 637 pray that 7729 and we will pray with you and we will see heaven shaken on your behalf and hell pushed back and breakthrough on behalf of you okay mm -hmm. with that said i'm charlene back to mary and your god's view host so glad you joined us if you were just clicking through the channel um, many people uh, do that we hear about it on the prayer line and they end up being so blessed so stay right there because god may have something for you Everything's divine in our lives. Timing is divinely set up. And God set you up to tune into us right now. And I hear it all the time. So stay tuned. Stay right there because it's going to be a powerful show today. I'm Charlene back to Marion, your God's View host. This is Stephanie Besh. have Priscilla Pruitt and Lana Gardner. We're so glad. Does somebody want to go and I'll tag? Well, we're kind of praying for what God's telling us. <laughs> I do. I, yes, I, have, I just heard El Ayon, and I was like, what does that mean? And it means okay. the Lord of heaven and earth, and it corresponds to no actual deity in the Canaanite. Um, but it's, I'm just saying, thinking God's saying something about that he is the Lord of heaven and earth. Do you guys get anything for that? What does that mean? And that's what you're getting. Yeah. yeah. Well, and so he's going to give it by time he, he will. things unfold. He mm -hmm. will. He will bring by that out. By time things get unfolded. Um, I, I heard right away the scripture, Proverbs 22, 6. Hmm. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. And um, I saw somebody praying for their child, saying, I don't understand. You know, I did the best I could. You know what? You're a good parent. You did the best you could. And God fills in the gaps. And you know what? Your prodigal is coming home. And the reason why he had me um, read that scripture is because what he showed me is you have been faithful to raise your child up. Um, in the Lord and and then he's gone away but he is coming back because that's the promise of the word so grab a hold of that scripture because it's alive and active and you you begin to declare it get a hold of Jeremiah 29 11 that says God has great plans for your child begin to insert your child's name in there and and speak it out loud and you will watch your child come running back to Jesus and back to back to your heart and home. Mm -hmm. So I yeah, saw that. And that. so yeah. I feel like there's somebody that, and I feel like this is what God's downloading on me and what it meant, Elayon, that there's somebody that's there out there mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. been praying for something and mm -hmm. God wants to tell you on earth as it is in heaven, what does this say on earth? What does the Bible say? What does the scripture say about that situation in your life in heaven? Is there yeah. death? Is there hurt? Is there pain? And the answer is no. And so God's telling you that he is Elion. He is the God of yes. heaven and earth. Yes. And you can call things on earth as it is in heaven. So Amen. he wants you to start calling things on earth and just speak over it. Lord, you are the God of heaven and earth. And so I just call forth right now, whatever the situation is <coughs> for this person, whatever they're going through, whatever they're praying for, I just thank you, Lord, for breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that the things that they yes. want right now, we can call it from heaven and download it to earth right now yes, in, right the now. Yes, in the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. <clears throat> I think there's somebody who needs an order in their home right mm. now. And I, I just want you to declare that no evil spirits, get it? Evil spirits of messiness, untidiness, mayhem, disorder, mm -hmm. will be in my home mm -hmm. in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. God wants everything in order and in, and in decently, decency. Yeah. So let's rebuke the devourer. Amen. And we'll have your home reflect the order of heaven. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. You can restore that sanity back to your home. Mm -hmm. And you'll be blessed. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at here. Okay. We're all well, usually biting at the bit. Well, but you go ahead. Okay. I got stuff, but you go okay. ahead. I, I, um, I saw um, that, actually I saw many. I saw a group 
And so, and what I heard was, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And so I actually, he's, he's telling me right now, it's a family. And you have been coming together and you have been praying for certain things that you need breakthrough in your family and with your um, extended family. And God said that he is answering and it says, Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. He's going to heal restore and redeem what was lost mm -hmm. and you think I don't know how that's going to happen and he said nothing is impossible with me and where you have become weary and burdened he said cast your cares upon me mm -hmm. because my burden is easy and my burden is light <coughs> and so you are not to carry it and if you feel that pressure then then he's saying you know what turn around release it to me You'll, you, that light of Jesus will come on the inside of you, will come yes. upon you, and you will have rest in the situation because he already has it finished. He, he declared it on the cross. He has it finished for you and your household. So be expecting and be Amen. ready. Be expecting and be Amen. ready. That's good. And I heard the word deity, and I know what deity, de deity means to me, and I know it's God to me. And so I looked it up, and it means actually little g god or goddess mm. and so i feel like god's telling me that there's someone out there that has um idols in their mm. life maybe it's in mm. their home there's a lot of paintings i think um i'm wow. seeing paintings in their home and they think that it's just art but god says no there's no idol no idols before me and so if you call yourself a christian you have idols in your home maybe it's a picture and it's art to you god's saying throw those out yeah he doesn't well, like that the scripture it's, it's, says yes. if you bring the accursed thing in, into your home this is not us mm -hmm. then you are accursed. it's biblical Ooh, that's yes. right yeah so god and is first, warning you yeah and the first he is warning them in the first painting that i ever painted that god told me where roar goes the glory goes i painted the Lion, I think I'm gonna bring that in here. Um, yeah. The lion over the bride, roaring over the bride, and and you know I had painted, I mean hundreds of paintings for mm -hmm. thirty some years, and that's the first one he said anything that was was literally on and he said where roar goes and we don't goes. know wow. what's behind that painting we right. don't know who did that what the story exactly. is we don't know the history and what you're bringing to your home mm -hmm. from that person mm -hmm. so it's very dangerous territory and it's inviting an open door to the enemy uh -huh. and so there may be That's something right. that you're like why am i having nightmares or why is this happening to me and mm -hmm. it could be because you've opened the door to the enemy through that yeah. so mm -hmm. i would just get rid of it yeah yeah i would you throw know, it away right. that, that happened to my brother and don't Give when it he was away. little, throw he, it away. He, throw somebody it away. had given him burn it. <laughs> <a painting. laughs> mm -hmm. And he hung it in his room and he started having nightmares. Wow. And mom and dad prayed and the, and the Holy Spirit said, this is what it is. It's yeah. on his wall. Mm -hmm. And they had never Ooh. paid attention but because it was a gift to him. Mm -hmm. like a and they went in a way that and they, took, in. They, they did. They took it out. They threw it away. Anoint, like what you were just saying. Mm -hmm. Anointed him, mm -hmm. his room, and just like that it was gone. Yes. Yeah. Wow. It is a portal, a doorway for a demonic realm and mm -hmm. and unless you you know understand the things of God and biblically mm -hmm. that's hard for people to understand but most people know the spiritual realm of things that can happen mm -hmm. you know and so hopefully you know that mm -hmm. and uh, you know I, I had given this story um, many well, I don't know many times, I guess a few times in the 15 years, but <clears throat> what Priscilla's talking about number one you bet you're gonna have to kick some demons out of your house once that happens throw mm -hmm. that out anoint your house with oil, mm -hmm. which I'll talk about that in a minute. But I had brought, um, <clears throat> it, well, I, I, I took it because the, my brother that I loved so much that was like my son, I mean, he mainly, Aww. you know, lived with us and was raised, and, and he had a horrible Jeep wreck and, and died at um, turn 23 in the rest home. Anyways, I don't want to get into that because that was a horrific thing. Uh, but what I do want to say he took so much time, and I mean this thing was so huge because I had a bi level then, and when you go up, you know the wall is real big. Mm -hmm. And so I, I set that there, and it was like an octagon. It was so huge, and it was decoupage. It was the most beautiful uh, floral and, you know, just this, this beautiful scenery. And so I get born again, and... I come up and there's this demon, like a dog demon, you know, mm -hmm. like, like one of those gargle things, looking at me 
coming up my stairs. Oh my goodness. Oh brother. And I'm like, it's standing there with its teeth and I'm like, yeah. what the heck's going on <laughs> yeah. here? You know, and I never called, hey, 911 or another Christian. I just said, okay, God, what's up? You know? Right. And so he told me it come from my brother's picture. Well, for me to get rid of that was very difficult because, I mean, that was the only thing oh, I, I bet. had connected I can't imagine. to him. Mm. The only thing. That's wow. horrible. So God said, it's coming through that, and you have to get rid of that. And I'm like, and I'm just learning of you bring the cursed thing in, you're a curse. Yeah. You've got to get things rid of out yep. of your house if God says get mm -hmm, rid of it. Mm -hmm. And so I go and I, I look into that photo because he's telling me, go look at it, basically, the Holy Spirit. So I looked at it, and what I seen before was the beautiful colors of the flowers and the greenery and yeah. all that. But when I looked all the scenery down here, when God showed me, because you know how something is really... Um, hidden, you know, yes. it's, it's revealed in a painting, but you really can't mm -hmm. see it, that kind of thing. I went there, and there were all these people, witches and warlocks, sacrificing this little wow. child, and all of these awful things wow. in this painting. Oof. And oh believe me, goodness. I got rid of it right away because it was a portal to bring the demonic yeah. in. Mm -hmm. And that's why you you got to love God more and you got to obey more. Mm -hmm. You can't love son, daughter, mother, mm -hmm. whoever yeah. more. You yep. have to obey and get rid of the right. thing that may bring a curse mm -hmm. into your house. Wow. It reminds me of Abraham. Like God wanted to know that he loved the Lord yes. more than his son, Isaac. And he was willing to sacrifice his son for the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the Lord would never do that to him. He no. just wanted to see his heart. See his yeah. heart. And so the Lord's doing the same thing. He just wants to see your heart. It's not about giving up something you love. Like I had all these Alex and Annie bracelets that every situation, every birthday, every anniversary, uh, Mother's Day, my husband and my kids would buy me these Alex and Annie bracelets. And I loved them. And I collected them. Mm -hmm. And what happened is I found out that these witches were make them. And so they would pray over them. And yeah. I loved wow. the meaning of them. And I never knew exactly what it was, but they had like spiritual meanings. And there was like a dove and all these things. And I collected them. They kind of look like this, but this one's not an Alex and Annie. That's Christian. Um, but when I found out, I was like, I knew I had to throw them away. Mm -hmm. I had wow. to get rid of them. But yeah. it was so hard mm -hmm. because each one meant something special mm -hmm. to me. I could know exactly when I won Mrs. International, I had one with the crown. And each one had a symbolic meaning. It was heartbreaking to me. But once I got rid of them, it was like something lifted. And I yeah. felt this grace and this peace. And uh -huh. the same will be for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. that's so true. Yeah. And then just anoint your house. Go mm -hmm. through it and mm -hmm. ask God, is there is there anything else? You know, the anointing yeah. oil is powerful. When I went, yeah. I had I, I got to tell this story because the anointing oil, number one, I anoint myself every day. And mm -hmm. when I start, I anoint my mind and say I have the mind of Christ and that my mind and my brain is protected mm -hmm. from any demon mind controllers, any government mind control, any Parkinson's, any dementia, any Alzheimer's, anything that would take my memory memory and I have the mind of Christ. I am anointed and I anoint my eyes to see how Christ sees my lips and my vocal cords to speak what he speaks. My heart is a pure heart because the pure in heart will see God. I anoint both of my knees and say I will only bow to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. I anoint my feet everywhere I go that I bring salvation, that I bring the gospel of Jesus Christ, not with persuasive or enticing words, but the demonstration of the power of the spirit of the living God. And that everywhere I go, the blind will see, the Amen. Will hear the lame yes. will walk, and I do the same with my hands, and then say, When I lay hands on the sick, and they will recover, and demons will be cast out, and the fire of God, the glory of God, and the electricity of God. I've had, I can't even tell you numerous times. I, I can tell you a story. I just went, flew into San Antonio. My, my brother in law died. Um, uh, I mean, he was in there with COVID, mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, intubation. Um, I, I mean, they gave him everything that was wrong that was gonna kill him, you know, that one lung thing, yeah. I can't think of the name. Mm -hmm. And so anyways, I, I and, and I'm telling this story because he's one that when I lay hands on people, they'll say they feel electricity. Yeah. And so that's why I anoint my hands and I say the electricity of God, the fire of God, the power yes. of God, the glory of God, and the blind will see, the lame will walk, <clears throat> the deaf will hear, and there will be greater signs, wonders, and miracles, and that people's lives will shift out of old places into the new. Missing pieces of the puzzle will come, and they will get an awareness and awakening to righteousness, those things that they didn't understand. And so I just always, I always pray those things. Well, he 
I mean, it was it was touch and go. We was everybody was praying just all mm -hmm. of you day. I mean, we have I had yep. hundreds of people praying, mm -hmm. fasting for him because <clears throat> my sister. Well, all of us need him home. We wanted him yes. home, and and they just you know of course they always give you the uh, uh, the wrong report. But you got to stand strong, and this is why I'm telling you, you got to stand yes. strong in these yeah. times. You can't listen to any report of man or Amen. doctors or anybody. If you want what God wants, you have to believe. You have to expect. You have to receive it, and you can't let anything get in its way. Mm -hmm. Just like America right now. God's going to part the Red Sea. That's Don't you right. look at what's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I lay hands on him and literally, literally, God is my witness. Electricity went through his body. He said yes. it went through all night. <laughs> he was amazing. up and wow. out of that hospital before Ooh. I left there. Hallelujah. And they said that he would have to stay in the rehabilitation center for months and all this. Uh-uh. He was home. I'm sending you to Paul days. right now. Yeah. <laughs> right? Let's go. I, I want to fly let's in. Go. Let's go. I really do want to fly in. Yeah, Seriously. Should, we go. should all fly in and go lay yeah. hands on Paul. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> I think we should. Yeah. yeah and so, I'm game. so what I'm saying is this anointing oil is powerful. It's real. And anoint yeah. your mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. I anointed him with the oil. And then every day, and we did it, and we did communion. And God just started speaking to him. And the power of God would come in that room. Because as we did yeah. communion with everybody earlier, that was so powerful and what God had said and what he has done, you know. But God said it is time. You know, I had wrote something down here, but I don't know. Let me see. Maybe it's this way. Maybe it's this way right here. He said it's time not to reason away truth with your mm. everyday life hits you. Quit mm. reasoning away truth when everyday life hits you or when sickness hits you or disease hits you. Mm -hmm. He's speaking to many of you right that's now. Right. Yes. You cannot reason it away because no. that's what the devil comes to do. Mm -hmm. When the doctor says, I'm sorry. I mean, they told her, oh, I'm sorry. He's very sick. He's got, you know. No, he, and they, they begged him one time. I mean, literally, he was a mess. But we would not believe the report of the Lord. I mean, the, the report of the doctors. We re believed the report of the Lord and Amen. we stood. And that's what it's going to take. So God yes. says, in these times, do not reason away truth. What truth is? The truth will set us free. Healing, signs, wonders, and miracles. The blood of Jesus. You must respond, he said, out of um, not. He says, you must respond out of where you have been seated. See, people have lost their seats. I mean, I think they don't know where yeah. they're sitting anymore. And this yeah. is yeah. many of you watching, and God is speaking to you right now. Take your rightful position yes. and move a God again. Stand up, warrior. Take your sword again. Take your rod again and start splitting the Red Seas. Start parting those rocks and water coming out. It's time. This year of 2022, he really does have it new for you. Yes. A new yes. wineskin that will hold Amen. his glory so that glory will be poured out. He said it's time for real transformation transformation. Yes. It's time for real transformation. Do you, do you understand? You're listening right now and you're going, your ears are perking up because you know you've been in this dry place. You've been in this miserable place. Yeah. You've been in just going through the motions. And it's time now that you get relentless. And <laughs> God says, relentless person never gives up. That's Amen. right. You know, Charlene, that's, mm -hmm. that's interesting mm -hmm. that you're saying <laughs> that because I think that there's someone out there that's looking at you Not and think. saying, we that's know. fine yeah. for you, we know. but I'm on the outside yes. looking in. No and these things don't work for me. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any miracles. <laughs> I haven't mm -hmm. performed any miracles. God has worked through me in any way. I'm lost. And you're a Christian. So I want to encourage you. The Lord wants to encourage mm -hmm. you. Spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Pray fast. Read your Bible. Learn of him. Believe that every word, as Charlene was yeah. saying, is truth. It's true. That's your yeah. only truth. It's the Bible. And whatever the Bible says about you, God says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. That you are uh, to cast out demons and lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Mm -hmm. He's got that for you. But you have to do your yeah. part. You got to work that and thing. There was Amen. One more thing that and I was and he says that goodness and mercy will follow you wherever you go. Yes. And just remember, God is a good God. Yes. Yeah. He's no respecter of persons. The goodness of God that what brings he does us for Charlie, yes. He wants to do for you. Yeah. So just do your part. Yeah. Amen. And you know what? One thing that he said in this change and this transformation. Listen, this is for most of you. 
in this uh, uh, transformation, the physical and the spiritual is what really takes place. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you don't just have this one little portion. God's a God that when he comes in, like I told them yeah. about my brother-in-law, and then I kept telling them, when God heals, he heals everything. He's yes. not getting lung transplants. He's not going to be on oxygen for the yeah, rest right. of his life. No. I mean, we really stood, and guess what? They were still calling him to give him a lung transplant. His lungs are fine. He's not Amen. on oxygen. <laughs> everything is healed. Wow. He is fine. See, because it's going to take tenaciousness, it's going to take the uh, relentlessness, it's going to take you grabbing a hold of yeah. the things of God this year like you never have. Speaking Do the not word. look at his <coughs> yes. eyes. Excuse me. See? It's not, this, this, these, these deceive you. Just like I said earlier, when God told me to start marching the floor and uh, decreeing those things of, you know, uh, yeah. pushing back and uh, uh, linking up with the archangel and taking my authority in agreement and push back the new world order agenda, push back the agenda to shut his bride's voice up and pu push back the yeah. agenda to destroy America. You gotta do this kind of stuff every day in your life. And not just like, oh, I'm just gonna do it because the Bible said, you gotta do it with everything yes. in you mm -hmm. believing that that word is life. It's sharper and active than any double edged sword. It will not return void. It will accomplish Amen. what he sent it forth yes. to do. Just as the rain, he said, and the snow falls and soaks the ground and cannot come up, it will fall and it will soak your situation. Yes. and it will not return Never. and it will wash away, away and it will fill mm -hmm. up and it will do everything that you need it to do. Glory! That's to right. Amen. <laughs> Glory Amen. to God. Amen. It's like that show we talked yes. about, Endurance. They need I to go catch yes. that show about Endurance. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. we spoke about yes. all that yes. that you're yes. talking about. about yeah. all of this. Mm -hmm. It's true. Okay. It is. Do you have anything? I got it. Go okay. Um, <laughs> as you were speaking, uh -huh. I just saw somebody longing, longing, longing. Like, I, I want that. I want to move in that. I want to know him like that. Yeah, and yeah. and I feel like if you have a Bible, then start reading it. Yes. And if you're somewhere where you don't, you know what? You can pray and Jesus will fill you. The Holy Spirit will fill you mm -hmm. and give you what you need. But in Proverbs 4, 20, 22, it says, my son, give attention to my words. And, and that my son or my daughter, give attention to my words, incline your ear to my, my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all your flesh. And you've been asking questions like, I don't know, I don't know how to get there. I don't know what to do. Pray, ask, but give attention. Mm -hmm. He's saying sometimes you have to sit back and, and after you pray and ask, mm -hmm. you've got to listen. You've got to listen and give attention to him because he has things. It says, incline your ear. Mm -hmm. So he wants you to move close to yes. him. Mm -hmm. You think you're distant? No. If you have received Jesus as your Savior, yeah. you are his child. You are. And he loves you. Incline your ear to him and his sayings and don't let them depart. Regardless of what you see over here or over there, he says, don't let them depart from your eyes. So listen, keep your eyes fixed on him and keep them in the midst of your heart because your heart is the wellspring of life, it says in the word, the wellspring of life. So when you do that, when you put your, ar your ear close to him and you keep your eyes on him and your heart, you're like, Lord, I'm open, just fill it up. Then it says it's life mm. that will breathe the word of God, the life of Jesus Christ on the inside of you. And it will heal you at the same time because it says health to all your flesh, yes. Yes. not all. just a piece of you. That's right. That means your all. outside yeah, yeah. and your insides yeah. will be completely made yes. whole. Yes. And it is that simple listening, keeping yeah. your eyes on him in hardship. Let your heart be open to him to speak and and not reason it out, mm -hmm. and then you will find life and health all in all one. All in one. Yes. You know, yeah. I say every day too, and you know, my, my family, Andy, Haley, Tegan, myself, my husband, you know, these are three different scriptures, walk not on the uh, highway of uh, uh, the, un I'm sorry, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to go so fast, because yes. I'm seeing that clock, <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, you know what, I may not say that. Um, it's not about what was is what God is mm -hmm. saying to you. Okay, we mm -hmm. all got a four, four, four. It's just on. It's, we all got to get this this year. Do you understand me? You you cannot look back because God is not in a second ago. Okay, God's yes. not there. God's yep. a now God. Mm -hmm. He's in a now God. You can't be mm -hmm. doing your laundry and Amen. expect God to be doing a miracle. You've got to be present with him yes. and with what he's doing. Amen. He said it's not about what was. Mm -hmm. um, looking back, 
It's about what is going to be and what is now, yeah. because what he's always doing, and that's been part of the thing. I, I spoke to somebody earlier and said part of many of his bride's problem was, he woke me up one night, and I, I, I believe it's one of the most profound things he said to me. He said, my bride, my people are believing so much in what mm. they've been taught and what they are mm -hmm. doing, they're expecting it to make the change. Let that sink in. Because oh. if that's you, you have to repent and you have to allow God to be the one that makes the change again. Yes. It's a fine line. We can mm -hmm. go into all kinds of examples. I, uh, I put on Facebook the other day, I don't know, you'd only know this if you're a fisher person, but I said the jig's up and enough's enough. See, the mm -hmm. jig is up. You know, yeah. Satan's game, he's, he, he, listen, he's been so exposed this oh, last yeah. couple of years because God is raising up back. See, the remnant got messed up, so he raised up his yeah. other remnant because he wants authentic roars, authentic Amen. voices. Yes. He had to take that false mm -hmm. out, the deceptive out, and he had to clean this thing up again mm -hmm. so that he has a, a roar that's going through, like I said, that ripples through the atmosphere yeah. that causes heaven to kiss earth and then explode and yeah. manifest the things of heaven Amen. on earth. And that's what he's looking for. And if you are one of them, man, call that prayer line. You go before, like, like yeah. Priscilla's said like I mean like Stephanie you look like Priscilla today now. and and Lana Priscilla same color I mean, here yeah. it's yeah, always yeah. obedience it's Twins. obedience oh yes. my gosh the time's gone yeah. that's why I, I have something I know <laughs> well, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're we'll do parts yeah here. yeah so anyways uh, listen uh, that goes so fast and we're trying to <laughs> I, I guess we just got to slow down and do yeah. another show because it's yeah, just yeah. too hard and we forget and then I had two hours of sleep yeah. last night <laughs> it's a wonder I can even say anything but and I'm not a napper but guess what? I am. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I wish I wish I was. I mean, it's not <laughs> either. Hey, Jesus wants you. Yes. He came while we were yet sinners and died so that we could have eternal life with him. And like I say many times, don't wait to clean up. He wants you yeah. just the way you are. Amen. No matter what you've just done, no matter all the years what you've done, he wants you. He loves you. Just you, all you got to do is repent, ask him to forgive you and come into your life and be the Lord of your life, forgive you of your sin. I'm telling you, he'll rock your world. You guys will be on a journey that is so wonderful. Everybody who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved, okay? Amen. Shall be saved. And I've got to say this, and I say this probably most shows, that you may not be able to say, God, come into my heart. I confess with my mouth, believe in my heart, emergence too, and I'm saved. And you may not be able to say that because you may be so broken right now. You may be splattered on the floor and can't even get even a word out. You're sobbing so hard. And if you said that in your heart, God knows what you said, mm -hmm. and he'll come in. And he will save you. Yes. And you will be Amen. on your way to heaven, sweetie. And young man, young woman, and we are so thankful to be a part of salvation. And I have continued to ask God this year, let salvation be our portion, God's view. Yes, let it just increase. You, let many yes. salvations come to yes. you through mm -hmm. God's view. Yes. We're so humbled and honored to be able to be a part of this global ministry, reaching billions now. We're just, I mean, pinch, you know, 15 yeah. years. And I'm like, and then every time I hear another prayer call that's, that's off the charts, I mean, I'm just like, I, it's just so, it, 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 I'm just in awe. Oh, I'm just in years. awe. Wow. wow, that happened. Yeah. Thank <laughs> I mean, really, yes. praise God. I mean, because wow. we're just real, the real deal. And when we hear those things, we're saying, yay, God, go God. <laughs> People out of wheelchairs, blind, yes. see, deaf, hear. You know, I mean, this is great. Anyways, it's only goodbye for today. We love you. Please go to our website. We need partners today. I'm telling you, I mean, I don't need, you know, God is just a miracle working God because I don't know sometimes how he does it because it's just not there and then bam here comes God but won't you be one of them to partner with us monthly um, you can get this anointing oil for $20 love gift or more and it'll keep us coming into your home around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ there's other things too mm -hmm. remember God yeah. does have a view God does have a view personally for you thank you so much for joining we love you Jesus loves you more going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus